All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Tuesday, July the 18th, 2023. Uh, I've hit the profit limit for my top step, step two combine for today. Uh, so I'm done trading. I want to discuss to you uh, what I was seeing here in the AM session. I'm going to show you the executions. Uh, you're going to be kind of bewildered by them, but I'll try and explain as best as I can and just walk you through them. So uh, first off, you know, I was obviously trading in the overnight session, so that's all those arrows. So I'll forget forget those for a second. So we're going to start here with my first execution, which came in as a, a three-lot buy at 09.53. Um, and a, the series of buys here are all going to be the same idea. So Michael teaches a few different macros. Um, one of them is 0950 to 1010. The other one is 1050 to 1110. And what these macros are is it's the beginning point at which price should start spooling to the nearest liquidity. So it should start spooling to go attack stops. Um, and you can see that that played out pretty beautifully here with 950 to 1010. We came down into the sell stops, purged them, and then ripped back up and purged buy stops. And then with 1050 to 1110, we just got out of that, and so I imagine the price is going to start coming back down. Um, anyways, so why was I taking buys at the start? So right here at 0950, 0943. So number one, you notice that I did not trade uh, the opening 30 minutes, right? So we look over here and we see there was Monday's uh, liquidity that was purged. And one of the things that Michael teaches is that the best longs are taken after sell stops are purged and the best uh, shorts are taken after buy stops are purged. So immediately when you see that the market, you see how the closes here are respecting these candle lows over here. Okay. You see that where my crosshair is? And then you know it's 9.50 to 10.10, so you know it's a macro. And you could see that the market had come down, purged sell side liquidity, and basically that was a, a very good sign the way that the candles were closing here because I'm watching the candle bodies that the market was going to come back up. Now, the reason why you see so many buys here, let me explain. I only have a $3,000 daily loss limit. So every time that one of my positions in the in during the regular trading hour session when the NASDAQ is swinging up and down 30 points in like two seconds, I can blow out my daily loss limit in very quickly. So I, I put that stop to break even quickly. And I'm just rolling, I'm just grinding up the account. Um, so I'll show you, like buy three, you see here, buy three, stop out three. Is it really tight? Yeah, it's really tight. but. The basic premise is that I, I just I can get back in the market instantly and let's say that this thing did want to draw back down to make a new low. I mean guys that's that's twenty points. And I can't afford twenty points, so I am I'm using my break even stops pretty aggressively. And I'm not ashamed of doing that. So uh, the idea remained the same. As I saw that price came up into the sell side, imbalance, buy side, and efficiency, I figured it would invert. So I took another long when I saw that the market had closed above that candles open. Again, I'm, I was stopped out on two of those three contracts. Um, and then the third contract, I ended up taking, uh, getting stopped out up here. So that was that long basically it was the 0950 to 1010 macro sell side was purged and the candle closes no, notice don't notice the bodies guys notice the notice the closes sorry don't notice the wicks notice the closes you see that um as the market made this buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency i figured that it would come back down into it um and then I was expecting it to rip like all the way up to opening range gap here earlier. It did not do that. But um, you see I got long three here. And so 65 quarters stopped out again as it came back down. And basically all of what you're seeing here is a whole lot of me trying to get long expecting the market to go higher. <laughs> That's what that is. 
So it's a lot of me taking break-even trades because, I, again, guys, like let's say that I'm wrong and I'm getting something wrong. This thing comes back down. You know, that's 20 points and my day is over. So I can't afford that. Uh, I did finally catch a 10-point trade here. So I'll show you. You see this buy three, seven, 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 fifty, right there. I did. Um, you see how these? I'll show you. See, these are relative equal highs, or they were equal highs. Well, you see how the market just pops right up above it. Now I was expecting it to go even higher earlier, like an hour ago which it did not do that. So that's why I ended up making a 10 point trade there is I took two contracts off uh, as it, well, one contract. You see one contract came off right at those equal highs. So long at 777.50 and then I got one contract for 10 points and two contracts for like two and a half points. And then when I saw that the market was coming back down, I was watching the candle closes here and I thought, well, it kind of looks like it might want to go make a new low. So I got short three at 768 spot 50, noticing, you see how this green candle's closed right here, that one minute candle, you see I was respecting that green candle? Uh, yeah, I got short on that. So uh, I started shorting, and obviously most of these were break even trades, so short at 768 spot 50, cover two at 761 evens, cover one at 758 quarters, so not really break even. I mean, a seven point trade right there. Um, as I saw that the candles were giving me some reaction here, I think I was up like 500 profit. So I just took it and I was just working this little range here and I'm pretty good at working ranges. Um, and then as I saw, I tried to get short again and I took a loss. But as I saw that the market made these candle closes and it was respecting that black candle over there, that's when I got I was getting long again. So this was a loss, by the way. You see this short at 756 spot 75 and then cover at 771 evens. That was a loss. I decided to just take a loss. But when the market was was respecting the black candles were you see all these closes, this was this was my kind of bread and butter trade here. So I was long at 7772 quarters. So I got long here. And um, I ended up covering up here. I believe that, yeah, I got long again. So as the market, do you see how it made this breakaway gap? How it made this buy set imbalance, sell set inefficiency that did not close? Uh, I saw as the market was, I was just following the candle bodies, and I got long again at 780, and I targeted, I was really targeting up above here, and did I end it up? Yeah, 797, so long at 780 evens, cover at 797 halves, and cover at 797 quarters. Um, so I got long on the breakaway gap, right? Next idea. Uh, I think, yeah, was I taking shorts? I was. So as the market, as I saw this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, I saw green candle, green candle, and then a strong close below. As the market was coming back up, short one, short one, short one. So I was shorting, basically, do you see how these, this green candle's close respected that prior green candle? I was shorting it. And then as the market came back down to the nearest low, which was just a few points lower, again, so short one at 786 halves, 92 halves and 94 even. So I was, I was shorting as it went up. And then I covered there and there. And at that point, I was near my daily profit limit. And then when I saw that these candle bodies were respecting that black candle right there, uh, I figured that breakaway gap was going to stay open and price was not going to trade back through it. So I felt pretty confident about that. Um, long at 795 halves, which that was not a great entry. Obviously, I was a few points off. And then um, 
recovered at 7.98 even. So that was my regular trading hour session. And then, as you can see, um, I do not have any trades from, well, I mean, I was sleeping, but it's also intentional. At 0830, when the news release came out, up until 10 o'clock, well, a little bit before 10 o'clock, but like 20 minutes after the open, no executions. So I'm not playing the economic release. I'm not gambling on the economic release, and I'm not gambling on the open. And that's very intentional. Um, during the electronic tra uh, trading session tonight, I was all over it. Um, just, just playing these... Uh, Yeah, in hindsight, it is a lot of executions, huh? But, uh, yeah, London, London session. I was trading all the way up until um, 7.26, at which point I decided to stop and sleep. These executions, you know, when I was getting short here, I probably covered those a little bit early. In fact, I know I did. All right. Well, anyways, um, that has been an explanation of the trades that I took for Tuesday, July the 18th. Um, used a breakaway concept, used uh, Use sell side liquidity purged as a concept. We used our macros as a concept, so 0950 to 1010 macro, and then 1050 to 1110, which is just about getting into effect. We're just about getting into New York lunch, so it should want to come run the sell side. Uh, opening range gap, so we know that that's a draw on liquidity, right? Opening range gap is a draw on liquidity. I think it's going to want to come down back to 33, three quarters, and come attack the sell side again today. If I had to take a wild guess. Um, coming into New York lunch. So, used a few different concepts here for our for our trades today. Um, I was up 900 in the overnight session and then made 2,700 in the, in the regular trading hour session, guys. So, uh, and I did not trade from 0830 to 0950, basically. Uh, so the, the news release and I didn't trade the New York Open. I was trading where I felt comfortable. And uh, that's it, guys. Bye.